In this lecture, I will show you how to analyze and design the cantilever slab. So start from file, new model. Here the design code, design preferences. For example, which code you want to use, which param uh, design parameters means uh, uh, factors for the design. Okay and project information you can put any information here the units you can use fps system matrix system consistent up to for example in newton millimeter kg meter any unit system okay or you can also either change here unit system here i am selecting matrix okay okay now i am clicking grid only here i am selecting the grid for example uh, true grid in x direction true grid in y the spacing between the grid for example 3 meter in x uh, and the y direction is also 3 or you can put 3.5 meter here for detail editing you can click edit grid so here i am hitting ok the software have drawn the grid now i will draw this slab before uh, material property I will use as it is for steel and concrete material uh, material property I will define this lab section a new property here I will define this lab 150 millimeter thick that is 6 inch slab the concrete material already defined I am not defining in this lecture here this lab property here I will click 150 millimeter if your slab have different uh, thicknesses in different directions you can cl uh, click in uh, to orthotropic otherwise this uh, 150 millimeter and thick plate is okay okay and hit here okay I have defined the slab now I will draw the slab here I have clicked the rectangular slab slab property 150 millimeter which is I have defined I will click from here to here okay now i want to make this rest of the portion cantilever and this uh, i want to make this edge uh, as a support for the cantilever slab so i will click here uh, no uh, sorry i will click just one edge of the slab here you can see one area one edge selected this left edge uh, has been selected I will go in the assign sport data uh, before going in the sport data I have clicked this uh, area of the left, si left side I will go edit edit areas divide area okay or you can click split area edges okay now I want to make uh, this edge to divide into different points here I am selecting for example for this uh, 3.5 meter height so uh, for every uh, uh, for example here I am selecting for example 35 points okay now software had drawn 35 points on this left edge of this lab I will click all the points and go to assign sport data click point restraints here you will select uh, select fix port okay now this left edge of the slab is ported and the rest of the slab is uh, will remain as a cantilever portion so now i will uh, select the slab and go to assign for the loading condition here i will click surface load here i will define for example live load of uh, replace existing uh, already there is no load so if any load is present software will replace the existing load here for the live load for example I am applying for example 220 kg per meter square so that will be 2 kN roughly uh, if you convert into kg into kN per meter square you can either change the units but here I will directly put for example 2.5 kN per meter square okay here on all the slab the load have been assigned now uh, I will save the model okay here I will uh, save the model with name canty liver 
lab okay now model have been saved now i will go into the uh, run and click on automatic slab mesh options here i have to divide this slab portion into small uh, um, uh, portions for the finite element analysis now i am clicking for example 0 0.5 meter okay when I run the analysis software make it 0 0.5 meter by 0 0.5 meter box of this uh, slab now I will run analysis and design okay okay now you can see uh, due to the fixed port at this left edge the deformation is zero but as you move towards the right the deformation is more okay so it means we have successfully modeled the uh, cantilevered slab so for example uh, if you want to see the movements for example display uh, show slab forces here for example if you want to see again the load combination of 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live uh, for example if you want to see the movement apply here at this port the moment is uh, minus 7.4667 uh, 7 kilonewton meter per meter so as you move right the moment is going to less okay so here for the detail moment diagrams you have to make the uh, strips design strips okay here i will go edit add design strips the software only draw the add design strips on these edges okay um, on the grids so I will draw manually draw uh, draw design grids for example in this direction uh, for example first of all at this port here here okay now for the middle strips okay you can make um, as much uh, as many you required you can draw many uh, many design strips why I have drawn I want to see the movement at this section for example I am running this analysis and design now I will go display show strip forces in the strip forces against the combination there is one combination 1.4 dead according to ACI 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live in this combination I will show it uh, in this combination uh, what load parameters are there first of all I want to see this against this combination apply here you can clearly see the moment diagrams here at this port the moment diagram is now this is not per unit meter this is the full value kilonewton uh, kilonewton meter not the per meter so here at this port the maximum moment is one or triple one kilonewton meter and it is reducing towards the free end okay so let's see in the defined load combinations here is two combinations modify 1.4 dead sorry again the same is selected here 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live if you do not define software automatically generate the load combinations you can also create by yourself okay now i will show the uh, design for the design you have to again go display uh, show slab design okay for example here uh, it's a, there are two different methods uh, for design there is strip base and finite element in this uh, lecture i will show with finite element base okay for example in the one direction this is x direction is one direction top rebar how many top rebars are required apply here you can see uh, 836 millimeter square per meter here and it is re uh, reducing to the uh, to the right side it's a top now bottom in this direction apply okay you can see no steel is required because tension is now on the upward side and reinforcement will be required on the upward, upward side not the bottom side so that's the results are too much good apply here in this direction in the y direction there is also movement 
uh, area of steel required okay for example in the bottom again uh, but at the free edge you have to provide the reinforcement at the bottom edge so you can also pro uh, check how many reinforcement is required uh, for example in the top free bar apply so here I am selecting typical uniform reinforcement for example if I provide a half inch dia bar at top uh, at 250 millimeter spacing is it okay not so I am reducing for example 150 millimeter at the top apply so it's okay if I provide the half inch dia means 14 millimeter bar area at the spacing of 150 millimeter that will be okay so let's see for the bottom that is also okay but make sure that you have um, uh, emphasized the minimum criteria impose minimum apply so in the minimum there is some steel is required I am again making it to uh, for example apply so minimum criteria is okay so again checking the top rebar apply again okay for this uh, in the y direction is also okay apply for this direction is also okay so if you spacing provide in these uh, in the x and y direction at uh, this top and bottom your design will be okay so that's all for the cantilever slab you can also uh, see the detailing uh, that is i have shown in the previous videos so that's all have a nice day